Welcome to my series of Ayurveda Rising and today I want to talk about Ayurveda being, the reason I call it Ayurveda Rising is it really is the divine feminine rising and what happens and I've talked about this in, if you go back and look at my other videos of Ayurveda being a, a process of self responsibility and also it being a process of no longer avoiding the self. So coming back and returning to our innate essence, our true beingness and when that happens that's when we really embody self-love and self-care and self-appreciation. And when women start to do this, it's usually women who come into this process because they've neglected themselves for so long, they've prioritized caretaking of their families or caretaking of elderly parents, caretaking of loved ones. And it's not that men are not caretakers, but women tend to do it for long periods of time and neglect themselves. And as soon as they start to own their own self-care, there's there's an effect um, that it has on everyone ar around them and so what this really was the process of my own awakening and I, i'm going to speak about my own process for a moment when i began to embody my own self-care a, a lot of things started to awaken within me and i really started to see myself as a creative human being and embodying what's called shakti it's our life force energy it's our kundalini and it is innately feminine or a yin energy and when i saw that i started to see that when i was acting out in the world and i was in the workforce i was really trying to be like most women and be a super women super woman and it was that concept of the glass ceiling that I had to push through and break through and prove myself as a woman and nothing prepared me for motherhood. I even went to a women's college, I studied feminist theory and I had no idea what that Shakti, what that life force, what that Kundalini energy was like. And so when women start to embody that self-care and that self-love, they embody this, this nurturing, loving, intuitive, subtle energy that's also in men as well. It's just that what I see happening is that women in droves are drawn to this because they've neglected this part of themselves in a culture that when we're, women were trying to masculate themselves, break through a glass ceiling. And when we saw this in the 80s, we saw divorce rates rise. It wasn't necessarily working for men or for women. And so I, what I think is happening is women are really starting to own their own genius, owning and embodying their Shakti. And rather than trying to uh, be the perfect superwoman who goes out in the workforce and bears children or has to choose one path or another, um, women are, are beginning to see See that we can't disown or neglect the intuitive, the subtle, the life force that exists inside of us. And so it as, as our consciousness rises, as the feminine is rising, as we all begin to awaken, it's a process that's beautiful for both men and women and for humanity. So thank you so much for watching this video.